Tisha Mashfu. Hey, what's up internet? So, for today's episode, I just like to give you guys this quick unboxing of my new pedal board which just arrived today. This is from GC Rockboards. I ordered this around more than a month ago and it just arrived now. We're still under the enhanced community quarantine, so I guess um, work and deliveries are or takes longer than usual. But yeah, anyway, it's finally here and I'm so excited to get this opened up. Go. So a little too tight, but thank God for missing my feet. Here we go. Plastic has to be off. Stuff tape in it. Okay, so where is the opening for this thing? Okay, you gotta be careful using the knife though because if I, maybe if I press too hard, I might hit the pedal board which is inside. So being really careful, good. There we go. There we go, I can, I can see it already, it's there. Okay. Right. So I'm just gonna rip it right open. Just need a little more nice action. Yes, it is out. It is wrapped in bubble wrap, which I used to love playing with when I was a kid. Every time I would get any package with bubble wrap, you know, I'd always press this these little bubbles right there and make them pop but for some reason it's like these aren't popping anymore but that's all right be careful with the knife be careful with the knife Got this little thank you card right there. It says, Thank you for your order. Congratulations on your very own GC Rock Tour. Here are some cool stickers as a simple token of our appreciation. Where are those stickers? It's. Where are they? Oh, there we go. There we go, see, as a token of appreciation, they gave me free stickers, because stickers are always fun. And yep, out of the box right here, they give you these um, cable ties. You also get this free strip of Velcro to stick on your pedals and there it is right there. Look at that. That, wow. I mean that, that is, that is beautiful. This is their um, Lian one. And the size for this one I ordered is 
18 inches by 12 so this is 18 inches including the edges and 12 inches including the edges so this part should be just about 17.5 inches minus the wooden edges but that's all right okay look at that first impressions um the wood the wood looks really good i mean look at that look at that green right there and these dots it looks so natural i mean i'm a fan of of green wood i'm a fan of all these natural looking things when it comes to wood i'd rather have them not painted just there and look at that joint look at that joint i guess when making stuff like these some some you know makers just stick them together like that with glue but this one it's i don't know what you call this technique can you see that there it's it's like it's like fingers coming together so i, I guess it's supposed to help the the board to become a little more tough i guess or um stick together well anyway yes that is that is that is beautiful look at that pattern i chose the natural green because i didn't want to have it stained they also have these options where it's, it's darker it looks more red or it's, it's black you can also order with a different colors for these panels like i've seen in the pictures where they have this one is natural wood and then this one is looks like dark mahogany but yeah I, I chose this one which yeah again I think it looks really cool and they have this logo right there the GC Rockford logo this is not a sticker okay as you can see this is plastic slapped right in here and it looks like yeah it's it's slapped in pretty good it doesn't look like it's gonna come off in any way from regular use probably if you force it off it's it'll come off but you know why would you do that it looks great right there and these are the switches um, let me show you what's underneath okay so underneath here is a these are sockets so the idea is that you would have your power supply stuck right under here which would save you space on your board which is actually the primary reason why i got this board because in my old board the height of the board isn't that high so my power supply would stay in here but i got this one so that i could have a power supply here currently i'm using a true tone um cs7 which is pretty thick but i ordered a cs6 which is a lot thinner it's, it's the slim profile which should nicely be stuck under here so yeah i'd be able to save space in my board so all of these things would just be for the pedals that i need so anyway yes if you have your power supply right there you're just gonna have to plug them in here and the wire goes out here so you're just gonna have to get the cable and you're always gonna have to plug through here okay so yeah that's it and oh yeah it's a on off switch so you can control when your board is off or on and oh yeah these things see these are for your cables so these are for the guitar in and the guitar out so how it works is that you when you have all of your pedals in here instead of plugging your guitar directly on the pedal you just have to plug them in this socket right there because this one has this cable connected here which you would then use to get your or to get 
connected to your first pedal right there and same goes for the last pedal on your chain also have a wire connect the last pedal here and goes out to here now what I really dig about this type of setup is of course you don't have to aside from having to plug directly on your pedal one advantage I can see is that sometimes you're kind of stuck with how you place the order of your pedals without this what I mean by that is you always have to think about it or think about placing or arranging your chain in a way that the first pedal always stays somewhere here and the last pedal always stays somewhere there that way the guitar cables would naturally come in here and come out here but with this kind of setup you can place your first pedal and your last pedal anywhere and it doesn't matter where they are because you don't have to plug them directly to your guitar or out to your amplifier because of these things you plug into these which I think is a really cool feature so um, anyway that is a new board it looks very well made I don't see any imperfections anywhere I mean look at those details even even in this velcro area the way it, it's cut this pedal board carpet right there the way it's, it's cut it's it's perfect you know I'd expect something like an, an overlap somewhere around here but I don't see it anywhere it's this is a very beautifully made and finely crafted board from GC Rock Boards and it's probably Filipino made. I'm happy about it and I'm proud of it. Um, probably when I get all of my pedals in here I show you guys my chain but for now that's it for this unboxing and yeah. If you enjoy this content and would like to see more guitar related videos or videos about gear, music, and even travel, please do show some love by hitting that subscribe button. If you are watching this on Facebook, please do hit that like button and that follow button. And till next time, peace out, internet.